So here, over here, everywhere you look, you're going to see flowers blooming. It's just like at home, same flowers, hydrangeas, bougainvillea, gorgeous um, uh, oleanders, cactus, roses, verbenias, magnolias, daisies, wisteria, crepe myrtles, on and on and on. And I see they have the same plants at home, and I bet the weeds are the same also. <laughs> I never really looked at the weeds. Um, now, wait just a second. Here. We're waiting just a second because Molly was here chewing on bones, making that cracking, cracking, cracking noise, and I had to pull them away from her. She's, she's always sleeping, but when I want to do something, then she wants to play. So anyway, we're not playing right now, Molly. Now, we were driving along the coast, uh, and the sea is not too rough along here, um, but there's this huge Vesuvius volcano. And there are thousands of houses clinging to the sides. Now, what is wrong with these people? I mean, it erupts, and everybody dies, and they go back there again and build the houses. Oh, it won't happen for another 60 years. Maybe 260 years. Well, maybe they're right, you know. I'm sure that the land is very fertile with all that um, stuff, uh, pumice and ash from the volcano. Well, anyway, we're driving along the coast there, and now we have to stop and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait. And there's a big avalanche that came due to the big rain that we had. And uh, rocks, rocks, rocks all over the road. And this is going to take a long time to clean up. Finally, we get to go through single lane, and then we are okay, and we can move along. We are driving along the Apennines, and in this long, flat valley, we find the city of gold, Florence. I can't say where the best food is in Italy. T tonight I had risotti and wine, stuffed eggplant, and wine, ladyfingers, and wine, and coffee with milk. I cannot drink the coffee plain. Gosh, it is so strong. I try, but I can't do it. Add milk. Aldo was I server, and they always ask, are you from New York? And then they show that, that they are so sad for us. You know, Italians are wonderful with their facial expressions. Oh, the mouth goes down and the eyes look up at you. And they say, and they're truthful about it. We are so sorry for you. But they are, the, uh, the uh, theatricals are in them. They can't help themselves. They're just, just people that, the Greeks are the same way too. Uh, one lady asked me, are you from New York? And I said, no, I'm from Arkansas. Well, that's close enough. Oh, we're so sorry for you. I almost, I almost giggled, but I didn't dare do it because she'd think that they have crazy people over here in New York. Okay, so Sally and Levi went for a walk. Dan, Dan, and we're done, you know, and Dan and I are in the room looking at the TV, and they go for a walk, and they walk, and they walk, and they walk. And they walked too far. And they had a hard time getting home. They could, didn't, you know, those are small, narrow streets, and they go on and on and on. And, and one street ends, it's only one block with the name, and then another street with another name. And, they, and you can't keep up with it unless you go out down a main thoroughfare. One lady said she was ready to take a taxi home, but she couldn't find one. <laughs> she just had to keep walking and praying. <laughs> I don't think there's any danger from muggers here. Everyone is out at night walking or, or going. They go to the plazas and they sit around, you know, and they have a little bit more wine. No wonder they sleep in the afternoon. Danny is trying to get us on the Prince's cruise ship. Well, he's, he's the uh, lead trumpet on the, uh, the biggest princess out there. Uh, I think it's the Golden. Um, there's supposed to be one in our harbor soon. We kept looking, but we we didn't see it. Um, then he will take us on a tour of his of that ship. He's not on that one working, but he'll take us on a tour. Then we can have dinner and we can see the show. 
and we would love to do that, see where he works. Uh, 